Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Um, just my questions to Attorney Mark Tolentino. <clears throat> Attorney Mark? Yes, sir. You look very familiar to me. Uh, <laughs> did you used to work for government? Yes, Mr. Chair. What position did you hold? I used to be a municipal councillor of my hometown. Second, which is Kabadbaran City, Agusan, Del Norte. Then second, as uh, a uh, state solicitor of the office of the Solicitor General. Then third, Assistant Secretary of the DOTR. Assistant Secretary of the DOTR. Yes, Mr. Chair. I think, what year was that? 2017, Mr. Chair. Up to? 2018. So you only held that position for one year? Yes, Mr. Chair. Um, why so short? Uh, of course, there was a political issues at the time, Mr. Chair, that I uh, I don't know what really the answer the reason, Mr. Chair. Um, you don't have any idea why? Were you? Did you resign? Were you fired? What was the reason? I visa? was terminated, Mr. Chair. Oh, you were taken out of your job. Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay, and the reason for the, your termination was? I have no personal uh, knowledge about the uh, reason, Mr. Chair. So, in fact, uh, I consider it as a. Uh, as an expiration of my term because the, my position is based on trust and confidence of the president. Ah, okay. So you felt so the president may have lost trust and confidence on yes, you? Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. Um, your your termination had nothing to do with your um, involvement with Wirecard? Uh, no, Mr. Chair. Okay. But you know of Wirecard? Yes, Mr. Chair, but... Uh, that was uh, the case is already dismissed, Mr. Chair. Dismissed. Yes. Okay. Can you tell us about this wire card uh, involvement and in case that you were that your name was uh, and your person was involved in? Uh, they said that I am a trustee of the of that company. When in fact, I'm not. And wire card was uh, found. Why was a case uh, filed against wire card? I think that case is pending in Germany, Mr. Chair. Okay. That year. And what is it about? It's about the uh, online banking in Germany, Mr. Chair. And they said that I am a trustee of that company. In fact, I am not. Ah, uh, you are not. Uh, so how did your name um, be prop up and be connected to Wirecard? Because uh, the COO of Wirecard uh, visited my office at that time uh-huh. uh that's that's all i remember because i cannot invoke in details because there is a uh, attorney client privilege mr chair ah, okay because you know i'm just going through some news articles and your name keeps on propping up uh, in relation to the controversy of wirecard yes mr chair so and this has nothing to do uh uh with your in with your termination as a DOTR official. Walang kinalaman. Uh, what about dealing with your sister? Kasi nakasura dito sa Rappler Duterte files DOTR official for allegedly dealing with his sister. Uh, it's not true, Mr. Chair. Uh, this is not true uh, also. There's a mis- misunderstanding only, Mr. Chair. Uh, so misunderstanding. Did, did, just maybe a question. Yes, Mr. Chair. A statement. Yes, yes. Similar to what you just said. Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. So anyway, let's go back to that statement that you said. Um... So earlier you mentioned that the 1.8 billion was a question, correct? Uh, based on my opinion, based on when, when I saw the video, Mr. Chair, okay. because I was not there during the no, live I mean, coverage. Yeah, but the mere fact that you're owning up to it uh, as an SMNI uh, official, uh, you're stating that it's a question. Because it's a question, Mr. Chair. No, yes, yeah, but, but you're stating it's a fact Mr. that Mr. it's a Chair. question. That's my question. Just yes or no. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. Okay. Great. Can I? Because the reason why the reason why I wanted to stress that point is because number one, you're owning up to it as an SMNI official. Okay. Number two, um, you mentioned that it is a question, so therefore there was no malicious intent. With regards to the statement issued by your block timers, correct? Yes, Mr. Chair. So, why was the tweet deleted in social media? Mr. Chair? Why was it deleted in social media? 
I have no I cannot answer that Mr. Chair because I am no, but, but, the, the, but you're the legal uh, counsel for SMNI we were uh, trying we can, to we, we can were, give the link to the honorable committee Mr. Chair we were trying to get the link and then I don't know can I may I know the number Mr. Chair that we're in we can send the link of the video Mr. Chair and, huh? Ayan no, nakasulat to. This post has uh, been deleted. Mr. S, uh, Mr. Chair, the SMNI face news face uh, Facebook page was... fake news what did you say? Facebook page. Ah, okay. Not fake, <laughs> fake Facebook page was taken down. No, 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 no. This is in no Twitter. Twitter to, hindi to Facebook. The video of Twitter is connected with the Facebook, Mr. Chair. But there is a YouTube link. Ah, uh, okay. So, hindi kayo nagbaba, nagtanggal nito? No, no, Mr. Chair. Kasi nung nag-link naman ako, dumiretso ako dun sa Twitter account ninyo, hinahanap ko dun, wala rin naman dun. It's there in the YouTube, Mr. Chair. Ah, uh, so you're saying it wasn't you that took it down? Yes, Mr. Chair. Ah, uh, it, was, it was Facebook that took it down. The whole page, not just the video, Mr. Chair. So, do you have any um, evidence that would say that Facebook took those pages down, or am I just supposed to take your your statement as hook, line, and sinker? We can submit that to the honorable committee, the email of Facebook, Mr. Chair. Okay, sige, fantastic. Because it seems like uh, it's not the um, you know first time that. Tweets have been and posts have been removed from the SMNI uh, network and for social media pages, especially when legal questions uh, uh, in, are involved. No, um, let me just go back. So you mentioned that this show of uh, Ka Eric and um, Doctor Doctor Badoy is that correct? Yes, Doctor Badoy, yeah. former USEC. Mr. Yes, Chair. okay. Um, naka-black time sila. A- anong arrangement nyo sa show nila? Co-prod, Mr. Chair. Huh? Co-prod. Co- co-production. Ah, uh, co-production. So, therefore, they are employees of SMNI? Talents, Mr. Chair. Talents. Employees. Okay, talents. So, would you care to share to this committee um, as talents, how much are they receiving? Uh, 100,000 a month, Mr. Chair. 100,000. Um, and do you have a contract with your talents? Yes, Mr. Chair. We can submit that to the Honorable Committee. Can you? Do you have a? Do you have a copy of those contracts with you now? Can we submit that, Mr. Chair? Still in our office, Mr. Chair. Okay. So, um, um, Mr. Chair, may I request that uh, we subpoena the said documents, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. That uh, those documents be uh, submitted uh, immediately um, before the next hearing. Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, so, what you're saying is they're paid talents. Yes, Mr. Chair. And at the same time as paid talents, um, the show that. Ano bang pangalan ng show nila? Laban kasama ang bayan. Laban kasama ang bayan. Yes, Mr. Chair. Dun sa laban kasama ng bayan. Kasama ang bayan. Kaninong bayan? Pilipinas. Mr. Bayan, okay. Um, laban kasama ng, ng bayan. Um, you are familiar with the show? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. And you watch it regularly, I, I assume? Maybe once a week or twice a week. Okay. So but that, not every day, Mr. Chair. Yes. Are it shown every day? Is it shown uh, every day? Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. So if you're familiar with the show... You can more or less gauge the theme and and the rapport by which these anchors uh, um, conduct themselves in their broadcasts. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. And you will agree that on certain cases um, they may have. Uh, exceeded the bounds provided by law 
when it comes to the KBP code of ethics. Would you agree with me? Uh, that's why Mr. Chair would like to ask what is that uh, code of ethics of KBP and the broadcast code. Uh, so what you're saying is you're not familiar with the broadcast code. Yes, Mr. Chair. I don't know if it is a law or just a code from... So wait, okay, okay. Now, so you're a media entity. You have paid block timers, paid uh, talents that you actually just mentioned receive 100,000 pesos monthly and yet you're not familiar with the code of ethics by KBP? I am not an expert of that, Mr. Chair. Maybe the, my, my co-counsel can answer that, Mr. Chair. Because I would assume as a media entity, your, your paid talents, especially those in the news uh, segment, would not only understand but would hold close to their heart the code of ethics of the kapasana ng, kapisana ng mga broadcasters ng Pilipinas. Kasi ito ang dapat na sinusunod nilang alituntunin sa pagbalalabas ng balita. Yes, Mr. Chair. And, it, and it's shocking that you, were, you as legal counsel just mentioned that you're not familiar. So anyway, um, Congressman Rolex, Rolex Suplico, ay, sorry, Attorney Rolex Suplico. Your you... Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Kasi sabi po ni Attorney Mark, baka yung ibang kasamahan niya makatulong, di baka may tutulong kayo? Well, Your Honor, uh, these are talents. And talents are, uh, beforehand, they are uh, required to follow a certain set of standards, including the uh, Broadcast Code of the Philippines uh, 2007. Sometimes, maybe they, they stray out of it, no? they violate it. But again, let me say, Your Honor, the gravity of the franchise, what so. Uh, I'm gonna tell them what to say, what to ask, when to ask, how to ask. They enjoy a certain independence from us. Well, um, I would understand that they would enjoy a certain independence from you, but I would also um, believe that you should con you should have a level of control over the substance uh, being broadcasted by um, your talents. Because if you're saying that they're totally independent, what if they're, what if the mat the material that they're showing is in violation of your franchise? At sasabihin nyo, sorry, independent sila sa amin. Wala kaming magagawa. Paano kung lumalabag na sila sa mga nilalaman ng mga sections ng prangkisa ninyo. Sasabihin nyo, wala kami magagawa. Eh, kayo po ang malalagay sa alanganin yan. Kung sasabihin nyo, wala kayo magagawa. Your Honor, actually, we started a internal investigation. And, uh, by the way, they're on their way here, Your Honor, in compliance with the request of the chair. Okay. Anyway, so, I'll just go to KBP. KBP, um, just a few questions. Yung, yung pong mga uh, broadcasters, uh, may license po ba sila na dapat hawak-hawak bago po sila uh, mag-broadcast? Uh, ano po ba ang uh, um, patakara ng KBP dito? Your Honor, it's not a license. Uh, we accredit them in the sense that we required them to take an examination basically on the KBP Code of Ethics and pass it. And they are only accredited once they pass this KBP examination uh, so that they are held responsible for what they say on the air. Thank you very much, um, Attorney. Attorney, to your knowledge, um, yung mga segment hosts, are they KBP uh, accredited? Uh, I, I have no information on that, Your Honor. Although... Um, what about uh, SMNI? Can you inform us if they are KBP accredited? No, Mr. Chair. Only the Suarezu Media Corporation, Mr. Chair. Ah, uh, so yung yung broadcasters nyo wala, yung talents nyo wala. Yes, Mr. Chair. Ah, uh, but don't sa sinasabi ng KBP dapat dumaan muna sa accreditation, Your Honor. 
Okay, so okay. But we will comply, Mr. Chair. No, I'm not asking you to comply. I'm just trying to find out whether or not they're uh, um, KBP accredited. So that is the um, process that should be followed. Am I correct, KBP? Yes, Your Honor. And why do you think that process is important? Well, it is to ensure that those who go on there know the code of ethics and are familiar with the rules and regulations governing their conduct during a program, Your Honor. And after this accreditation is provided to them, do you is there a monitoring system done by KBP to ensure that those accredited are prop are properly uh, abiding by the regulations and and code of ethics you have um, set for them? Uh, due to lack of personnel, we don't have an active monitoring. Our monitoring is basically post event. I mean to say we rely on complaints and that is the time we require the uh, on-air personnel to explain or the network to explain as the case may be. Uh, however, if there is uh, information given to us, we may do a motto proprio monitoring your own. So thank you very much, KBP. Um, let me just go back to um, Attorney Mark Tolentino. So habang wala pa dito yung dalawang paid talents nyo, na kayo pala ang nagbabayad sa kanila. Uh, ano yun? Buwan-buwan, ano? 100,000. Yes, ano yun? May BIR yun. Kompleto naman siguro sa mga yes, taxes. Yes. And yes. We so, complied all the regulations. Tatanggap din sila ng Christmas bonus pagdating ng itong buwan na to. We do I consider them as employee, Mr. Chair, but talents. Ah, talents lang. Talents, so, wala silang bonus. Walang yes, overtime per... pay. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, okay. So anyway, so so in so far as you pay them, you know, they're, they they will have some sort of employer employee relationship. Uh, no, Mr. Chair. Uh, uh, you don't. Yes, Mr. Chair. So what relationship do you have? They are just talent, Mr. Chair. They are paid per episode, Mr. Chair. So there is no such thing as control as a one of the requirement to con- to be considered that there's an employer employee relationship. That's why we do consider them as an employee, Mr. Chair, but mere talents. Yeah, mere talents that you, that you have. And how long has this show been going? Almost three years, Mr. Chair. Three years. So three years and yet no control. Three years and yet uh, uh, paid pa rin sila. No, uh, three years, araw-araw umeere na 100,000. Two hours a day, Mr. Chair. Huh? Two hours per day. Oh, one hour and a half per day. One hour and a half per day. Aro aro yon. Monday to Friday, Mr. Oh, so Monday to Friday, one hundred thousand. Kasi lang wala kayong relasyon. There's a relationship, Mr. Chair, but not an employer-employee relationship. Okay. 